<laughs> All right, let's turn that back down just a tiny, tiny fraction. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream or video. I, um, I had a hell of a day today. And I try not to do the same content type back to back whenever I can, but that's not always possible for me. I was going to stream tonight, but I don't have enough energy to be entertaining live. Uh, today, somebody rear-ended my car at the car wash after I had left it with an attendant, and it's been kind of a headache today. I was redundant, but either way. So, we're going to do a draft. Oh, gosh. Is that coming through on the mic? It was for a second. Okay. So we can either start, I kind of want to draft the mono blue deck, but I, you can't not pick a Wrath. I mean, you can, but it's wrong. I'm going to build Orzov Control against my better judgment. Or I guess Esper Control. Who knows, maybe this will evolve into something else. Probably not. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh... Depending on what cards start coming up, I might just start drafting mono blue. Because, like... But don't get me wrong, I like, I like the cards that I have. But I kind of want to draft the mono blue deck, just because I never have gotten the chance to. Uh... I'm going to take Precognitive Perception. Another ill-gotten inheritance. Ooh, boy. If I drafted any creatures. Two Twilight Panthers. I've drafted three creatures. I need to pick dudes. I need to pick lots of dudes. Like, an inordinate amount of dudes. Hmm. I'm sure the bots have no idea what I'm doing at this point. They're like, we've never seen anyone draft like this. He's so terrible. <laughs> I kind of just want to go straight Orzov now that I've drafted Esper. Um. Gosh. That's new. Mmm, so many good Orzov cards. Vanifar, you're not supposed to be in this deck. Um... Oh, what do I have that? I shouldn't have picked, I shouldn't have picked that. Um, I'll probably splash for that. Oligarch's really good. How many cards are in this deck right now? Uh, too many, probably. Um, take another thought collapse. Take a uh, officer, I guess. Messenger's really good. Oh, 
this is, I think, going to be less than, less than stellar. All right, then. First thing I'm going to do is cut most of the blue. But not all of it. We still have 50 cards. Okay, we have a lot of creatures. We don't need all of them. We definitely don't need so many low drops. We do have a Wrath. Do we have any actual, like, single target removal? I picked something over. I picked this over Mortify, didn't I? I don't know if we can run a double blue card. I'm going to use this as pseudo removal. We're going to cut some lockets because, holy crap, I don't think we need lockets. Um, hmm. How many creatures does it say I have? 17? Um... Oh, we do have a little bit of removal there. I'm gonna cut another Twilight Panther. Maybe we don't need this. How many instants do we have now? One, two. Three. Four? That's probably enough for Dovin's Acuity. Um, okay. How many lands are in this deck right now? 17. Sometimes this makes it easier for me to look at. All right, too tired to actually make reasonable decisions here. Oh, I believe in me. Do you believe in me? Good, because you shouldn't. Um, oh my god, it's like the natural Tron hand. You have to keep the natural Tron hand. Basic Tron, best Tron. So we're going to go Oligarch into Grudian, into Scavenger, Sack, Oligarch, probably, if it's not blocked down. Awesome. Pona plays a Sylvan Brush Strider, gains a couple life. They block the death touch guy, which is okay here. We're gonna make a big dude. And we're gonna keep both of those on top. We like getting an ill-gotten inheritance. So I just realized that like my current camera position completely covers up any useful information about my deck and or graveyard so if anyone watching this has any good ideas about where the camera should go that makes sense i'm more than willing to listen to you right now and more than willing to listen to you at any time quite honestly but Oh god, I'm too tired to function right now. Bullrack Clan Crusher. Bark. 
Everything's big or has death touch, so... Get him. Uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta kill the Crusher. Whew. We, we, we still ch stand a chance to win this. Kind of excited about that. I like winning. Also, I'm sorry, because, like... I was I realized that like the last video I posted was like horrendously quiet. So anybody who's been trying to watch me stream or like <laughs> watch any of my videos since I got the new mic, it's just, just Kano's over here. Didn't have the gain set to anything but minimum on his microphone. I feel really bad about that, honestly. <laughs> We're gonna get in for two, opponents should snap off that block. Seems good. we will got an inheritance numero dos. Opponents on a four turn clock. Less than that if we draw land. <gasps> it's got riot. Uh, they just passed their turn. Can't cast that. Because as we predicted, we only drew one blue source. <gasps> a bear. But it's a cat. Bearcat. Savage Smash. Why would you not do that with the guy that attacks? Okay, land please. And there it is. We got him. <laughs> oh boy, I need to go to sleep. Don't worry, I will. I'm not like... I'm not like tremendously sleep deprived or anything like that. I have been I have been sleeping. It's just it was a long day today. And bed's going to be so good when I get there. Like so good. We got some removal. We're well on our way to a wrath. I kind of want to keep this, actually. Okay, opponent starts Guildgate. We start Swamp. I'm thinking about buying the uh, Guildgate... S Guildgate theme pack? Whatever, like... Makes all the gates look really pretty. But it's just cosmetic. And I do my absolute best not to spend money on only cosmetic things. Or strictly cosmetic things, I should say. Because... They're just a waste of potential, like, draft queue money, I guess. I got a feeling like our opponent has a counter spell. Or not. Opponent shrinks the guy, blocks it anyway. So we play Ill-Gotten Inheritance, we put our opponent on a real clock, pass the turn. And by real clock, I mean 20 turn clock. Opponent's got to land. Jerk. They get in for one, we go to 19. We reverse the life totals here. Get in for one. Do the damage. All right. Undercity Scavenger. He did have the counter spell. Jerk.
Well, luckily for us, we got plenty of removal for this dude. Come on, opponent, tap out. You know, not for that. I, I meant anything but the card that replenishes so much of your freaking hand. Uh, okay. Here comes the pain train. Well, with one threat down. Kind of want to draw like a Dovin's Acuity or something. Carnage, you're not, you're not supposed to do that, opponent. You're not supposed to make me discard two cards. Oh, man. Carnage is a really brutal effect. Any, it's just blightening, right, for four mana? No more counter spells, please. Why? Why must you gain so much life? Oh, I, uh, I had a friend the other day send me a screenshot. If I can find it, I might stick it in the video where he was playing against a guy in Limited who had, like, this crazy Mirror March deck and won, like, 12 flips or something like that. I think it might have been seven. But it was, like, seven flips off of an Archway Angel and just went up to, like, 60 life. Crazy. Screw it. We get spirits out of the deal. And he has to target first. <laughs> now watch him play another two creatures equally as insane as the first ones. <sighs> well, that's not quite as insane. Get in for damage. Why? Why is there so much life gain? The brochure said there'd only be a little bit of life gain. Uh, opponents just like crazy five, four, four color control? Crazy four color control. Oh my god. I'm not going to play this one out anymore. All right, we'll keep. We have a playable guy. Oh, I just realized... I scooped because of that 2-5. Oh, I'm thinking of the stupid high alert card. 
I'm thinking that that guy was attacking for like five damage for some reason. Probably because I'm exhausted. <sighs> I totally could have played that out. My apologies, everyone screaming in the comments for that. Kano, what are you doing? You mad lad. You idiot. Get him. Go. Fly, my birds. My masked bird boy. Oh, man. I don't know if anyone has ever worked any muscles that they have to near complete fatigue, but like, I think I did that to my hamstrings the other day, because they were pretty close to toast. I like couldn't even pick up my legs into my car, which like, seems like a problem to me. <laughs> it was bad. And I'm still paying for it. And probably will be for a couple of days. Did I mention that my car got hit by another car today? Cuz... I'm still mad about that. When it got hit at the car wash... Like... I kind of blacked out with rage. Because my car is one of the few things I try and take extremely good care of. The other ones being my girlfriend and magic collection in that order. Well, both of those I think might actually be above the car. How much damage is on that? Okay, never mind. Probably girlfriend car magic collection. <laughs> um, but I was I was extremely upset and I felt really bad because like I guess I shouted or something. I know there were expletives involved. But I scared some people around me when I did. Uh, I mean, I find it humorous. I don't know if it's actually humorous. Yeah, that should do it. I'm not really talking about my plays at all. I hope that's okay. Kind of just like have an event video at the moment. <laughs> A tired rambling vent. Also, what the hell is with the cost of living these days? I am very upset about how much I have to spend for an apartment. Like, I went to go check out this apartment complex, which shall remain nameless because they were shadily creeping on me when we were like, when we like reviewed them, I guess. Uh, but we went to this apartment complex. And they were like, oh yeah, we're advertising an apartment. It's like $1,100 a month. And I'm like, expect, I'm like, okay, that seems, that's not too bad. There's, you know, there probably is a little bit of a catch. They probably got, you know, some fees maybe for parking. Maybe I got to rent a washer and dryer, et cetera, et cetera. You know, just, just common stuff that happens. And I'm thinking, I got to spend a little bit of money on that. So it's going to be like maybe 13, 1300 bucks. No. Like, after all the fees get totaled up, when I'm talking to this apartment complex, it's like 
seventeen hundred dollars. How much did I say was the initial number? I think it might have been a twelve hundred dollar apartment, but they had like five hundred dollars in mandatory fees. Like mandatory fees are just rent. Like <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's what that is. Like it's just it's stuff that should be included in the rent cost. It's not like I'm paying the money to the same location and it's a monthly fee that's on top of rent, which is I don't know, a monthly fee to live. Ugh. This is way tougher than it needs to be. Utah's like whole living situation stuff kinda sucks. Ah, uh, get him. Fairy duelist, huh? I kind of want to, like, revenge them while I'm still at a high life total. We get a token. Let's just do this. They lose 11 life here. Nice. We have a very comfy life total now. Uh, but yeah. Been struggling to find an apartment that isn't like, by the way, we're going to make you pay an arm and a leg for stuff that's not great. The same apartment complex, like, only had a local awful internet provider that has, like, one of the worst rated customer services, too, out here in the Utah Valley. It was it was actually quite amazing to me. I was like, how is this even an operation? Like, what kind of racket you guys go, got going on here? Because, like, I kind of want in on that. I played the wrong card. The wrong card by a long yard. Damn. Okay. Um, how do I recover from this? We do nothing for a moment. Oh, boy, am I glad nobody watches these pre-recorded uh, draft videos. They're like my worst performing category of video, but also the cheapest content for me to produce. So thank you, like one viewer who's made it this far. I appreciate you a lot. You're a wonderful human being, and I hope your life is going well. You know, you, you deserve to have a life that's going well right now. Oh, man. <sighs> you know, I think I'm starting to let the qu the quality of my videos slip to the extent that I can't justify posting a video every day. Like, I might have to move to, like, one every couple of days, or maybe one a week. And if I do the short meme video things... Like, those can just be interspersed and not be part of the regular schedule. Because I need to, like... <sighs> I need to figure something out. Because, like, I'm just... I'm burning too much, like, time on stuff that's not high enough quality. And I feel like if I, like, retract the whole, I'm going to release a video every day... I just, I gotta find, like, a better scheme than what I got going on right now. There's just gotta be a better way than whatever it is I'm doing. <sighs> oh. Well, this is annoying. Ooh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I hope you're enjoying listening to me whine about all this crap. Because <laughs> I feel like it's healthy to get it out. Just so grumpy right now. <laughs> Magic is not making it any easier at the moment. Oh my goodness, it's a flyer. I could block. God. I gotta deal with one of these. Wish we'd gotten a Dovin's Acuity to like get some extra card advantage out of that, but that's uh it's not uh that's not how that's gonna work right now. Oh my goodness. Gotta stop yawning to fight through this game. Hmm. Now that's a draw and a half. The only question is. Um yeah. There's 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 no question. I'll give you that sweet afterlife triggers. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, just when all hope seems lost, first pick Kaya's Wrath comes to the rescue. I'll <laughs> watch your opponent have like a cry of the Carnarium. Or like a Mephitic Vapor. Oh, wait, that was last format. Oh, man, I thought this game was never gonna end. Oh, thank you. Get in there. Mm, feels good, man. No, stop gaining life and drawing cards. That's illegal. Only I'm allowed to do that. I'm glad that can't block. Okay. I feel like those should be auto-stacked because they're the same trigger. Play a kitty cat. Get in. Oh, well, that's another thing I don't think I've announced publicly is a little while ago, the little black cat that used to show up on stream, uh, we had to we had to put her put her down because she had feline leukemia and. It had finally gotten to the point where she was just catching enough things that she was ill all the time and, in general, miserable. And I miss the piss right out of that animal because she was the most adorable, cuddly, sweet thing. Cats are great. I guess we should do this. We should have done that on our turn so our opponent just died, but... Okay, they just die anyway. But, yeah. I miss Ajna. She was a real sweetie. Ugh. <sighs> I think, I think regardless of the result of this match, this is going to have to be the last one I play, because I'm, like, falling asleep in my chair now. Oh, man. Alright. Impassioned Orator is fine. Wish we'd had a black mana source to start, but... Um, okay, opponent tutors up a basic swamp. Interesting, interesting. Play an impassioned orator. But it plays the swamp, plays an Orzov enforcer. Uh, 
we got nothing. So we pass. And if my opponent thinks I don't have removal for his 1-2 death touch, I absolutely do and will use that with uh, extreme discretion. Alright, play the 3-1 with lifelink. Feels like a good play. Ah, we're against the fourth psychographic. You have Timmy, Johnny, Spike, and Jaff. Jundal formats. Best of the four psychographics. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> two mana magma spray. This is what I'm losing to right now, ladies and gentlemen, is a two mana magma spray. I feel great about myself right now. Uh, I'm losing to that, and I guess mana screw is technically part of the equation. But, you know, it's just whatever. I got a notification. Got a Facebook notification. It's not important. Like most Facebook notifications. We still refuse to draw land, and our opponent has a rioted Gruel Beastmaster. <laughs> Alright. So I guess in response to the trigger, we judge that girl. Girl. We judge that girl and her cat slash beast down. Maximum judgment. Oh, I'm still sick. Sort of. Like, still have had the, the sniffly, stuffy nose. Alright, you do it, why don't you? Okay. Get him. <laughs> Got him. What? You're not supposed to... It should have been zero, right? My knowledge of MTG mechanics waning? It's supposed to be Grohl Be Beastmaster's power when it attacks. I guess I'm let... Oh, God. Well, that's game. We just didn't draw lands for... How many turns was that? Too many turns. Alright, I got one more loss in me. Let's do it. But then I really need to genuinely sleep. Okay. So three mana hand. Two four drops, two two drops. Would like a one drop, but yes. We will keep. Holy crap, that was like a lightning fast land play. Solar Farm Hybrid. Go, Impassioned Orator. The Soul Mister. What is it with these people in Scorch Marks? Is this the same guy? Is this Jaff? What are you doing, Jeff? You know there's other decks, right? Hmm. Actually decided against attacking there. Oh, our opponent's stuck on land. I should have attacked. Absolutely. The heck was I thinking? It involved pillows. It's sleep.
Well then. Um, opponent's still stuck on two lands, though for how much longer I have no idea. The eternal desire for my neck to pop remains. Oh, this will be fun. Get him. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I hope he finds a land, because nobody really deserves to go that long without lands. He did have a land in the top four. We'll go ahead and revenge him. We go up to 46. That should be plenty of time to win the game, I believe. We get a flying token that he can't deal with. He now only draws his third land. Oh yeah, that's a reach creature. No blocks. No attacks. Oh, now here come the lands. Oh yeah, no, this dude would have like trounced me had he actually just drawn lands. Sunder Shaman. Skewer the critics. He's just dead, right? Like we attack. He gets pinged, he goes to five, we attack, he blocks, he goes to four, and then we sack and he dies. And we're at 40 life. Seems good to me. Ooh. Okay. All right. I'll try and finish this out. I thought for sure we were going to lose that one. <laughs> the one time I'm like, "Oh, we'll just we'll just lose and it'll be over. It'll be fine. We'll like we'll go and then we'll go we'll go we'll go sleep. And then we'll we'll get up for work tomorrow." And the game's like, "No, nah, you're going to keep winning. You're going to play until you lose." Y'all, careful what you wish for, folks. This is the genie in the bottle. Zerta Goblin. Riot it up. Not going to be afraid to judge that. Oh, I'm so excited for War of the Spark, he says through a yawn. And Modern Horizons. I'm actually, like, super stoked. Um, goblin gathering, huh? Well then, I'm I'm excited for some more more magic cards to play with, new ones, new strategies, and it's not what keeps me going every day, but it sure helps. <laughs> We're gonna start playing some cards that can block. Ooh. Mm. Opponent gets in. We're gonna block. You got a pump spell for me? Of course you do. <laughs> It's okay. We still got a 1-1. One, one. And now we'll start stabilizing. Who 
keep playing dudes that he can't swing past. Or can't swing into profitably. And then we'll uh, we'll take over the game with these ill-gotten inheritances. Whew. No attacks. What time is it? Almost midnight. Okay. And I haven't even been up as late as I was last night. Oh my god. Another goblin gathering. Um... What the... Okay, I definitely clicked this to attack with it, and it was like, nah, man, you just, you wanted to go to the end step. So we're going to play Grudian and hold up summary judgment. Ooh. Hmm. Guess I should start playing these. Force them to either attack or... Otherwise present some sort of threat. Opponent could play something with Riot and then have a way to shoot the Death Toucher. But they don't. We ping our opponent. Draw land, play land. We got seven land now. Seven whole land. We'll play another one. We're going to pass the turn. Just uh, keep holding the line. I think I allow myself to get too stressed over stuff. Well, that was interesting. Because, like, I definitely don't need to be as stressed about half of the things I get stressed about. But. Still do. Okay, we're going to block. Take seven. Oh, what the nuts. That hurts. I think we have to do this, actually. <laughs> it's kind of sad, because I wanted to double my life total. But I'm not going to get to. Okay, he gives it haste. Gets in. We take three. We gain two. Uh, I think I'm going to sack the... I am not going to sack the Orator. I'm going to decline. So I'd like to be able to block the Menace guy. Oh yeah. That thing our opponent has. It's actually like the perfect blocker for that situation. Holy crap. 
Is the game going to force us to come back and win this through no volition of our own? I want to lose so I can go to sleep right now. <laughs> but magic's not letting me lose. Oh gosh. Okay. It's pretty good with all them goblin gatherings that we weathered. Doesn't have trample. Okay, opponent can go to attacks. Give that death touch. We take one. Now we go to blocks. Block here. Block here. Take two. Ping our opponent a bunch. Get in for five. Take our opponent to two. Make him really think about life. Now watch him give it plus five, plus five, and double strike. <laughs> We're still winning. <laughs> Through no fault of our own, we're still winning. Uh, this brings me joy and great pain. Um... Uh, His hand seems just, just bad enough that we should mulligan, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, I'd like to lose, but I'm still playing to win. All right, there's a 1-3. Play Plague White. I think an island would be our best draw here at the moment. Okay. So play that, get in, see if our opponent reads. They in fact do read the cards. Oh man. Another island. High alert. Well, okay then. Oh no, you don't. Not allowed. Draw land. Get in for two. Would really like at least one island. That'd be pretty sweet. That's a 6-6 six, six, as far as everything else is concerned. So we play a Death Toucher. This is the combo I thought I was scooping to earlier when I was so exhausted. No attacks. We are in quite the horrendous place here though. I think we may actually lose to this. I mean, we have outs. But it could play like another huge threat and we could draw a wrath. I mean, that would do it. Okay, they bounce. And draw. Plays a forest. I'm gonna jump and save a little damage here. It's too bad I didn't pick that Mortify over this precognitive percep perception that we've never once come close to casting um so we dove into cutie 
I'm gonna go ahead and revival here. It's probably not right. But I want something on the board. And we're gonna need that wrath. I think that's what we're drawing into to try and win this game. If our opponent just has a counter spell and we finally find it, then we're super boned, but like we're gonna put up a fight. To the best of our ability, we're gonna put up a fight. Take that action. Well, we have exactly one draw to find it. Still not lethal. Wrath, please. No wrath. We stay alive. Gain two, go to six. Play this as a blocker, and I think stay alive. Yeah, this lets us stay alive with exactly one life. So we need to draw the Wrath next turn. Like, we, we absolutely must in order to survive. <laughs> well, that does it. This is the loss we were praying for. <laughs> the sweet release of death. <laughs> All right, I am gonna go pass the hell out right after we open these packs. Okay, we've got three packs to open. Pack number one, Mythic Wild Card number one, and we get a Hero of Precinct one. Pack number two. Mass Manipulation, card that I suspect might go up in value with 36 Planeswalkers being printed in a set. And Mythic Wild card, best card in magic. All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. You're all wonderful people. I'm going to go to sleep, and I will see you all tomorrow. I'm going to try and stream this Friday, this Friday night. If I don't make it, it will be Sunday. So... Good night, everybody.